How's it going you guys? Welcome back. Sorry for the delays again. I just got my boat back from the shop. I've been working on some videos for you guys on the boat. So I'm gonna post this video for you guys like just right now just cause like pretty much all we have ready. But in this video we were originally targeting bonefish but we killed it on the Corbina so on the ultralight setup. So we're like dang let's make a cool video about this. It's pretty fun. But we will have that bonefish video coming to you guys soon. We're really working on it. We had a couple hookups that ended up uh, not going too well. But you know, fishing three pound front pretty hard. But yeah, guys, this is a pretty cool video. We're on the float tubes, those are ultra lights, and we're killing it out there. It's super fun, drifting some ghost shrimp, and yeah, catch you guys in the water. Peace. What's going on, you guys? Today, we're on a mission for bonefish. You'll see our previous attempt is a failure at this one spot. We're on a mission. We're gonna try float tubing them first, and we don't get any bites or anything, then we know our kicks are scaring them, and we'll try something else. But yeah, guys, this is a mission. Like, we figure out the striper, so now it's time to figure out the bone fish. And um, here we are, Huntington Harbor, chilling and kicking. You guys, for my setup, I'm running my ultralight. This is four pound, four pound. Because when you're fishing bonefish, you're not going to run into any structure. The spots they're in, there's not very structure, like drifting is more sand flats and stuff. So yeah, the plan is basically to go hit these sand flats, drift over and try to find the bonefish. And then uh, what I'm using for my bait is just I have a little like, a little sliding weight on there and a little, uh, a little teeny little hook, a little size one, teeny teeny hook and a ghost shrimp because ghost shrimp is what they eat. So we'll see what's happening. He's still got it. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. on. Oh, he's still there. We're on a fish right now. He's running at me. Running at me on the ultralight. Does not feel like what we're targeting. Oh, but that's exactly what we're targeting. Oh, this might be it. Hey. Yo, that was screaming drag. But it could be like a croaker or something. We're not entirely sure. But uh, on the float too, this works out too. You see it? Is it a bonefish? Let me see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh shit. Oh my god, is it Ryan? Is that a croaker? Or... Oh, it's a Corbina. Check that out, guys. My first, actually, this, I never surf fish or anything, so this is actually my first ever Corbina. Oh wow. That's pretty cool, guys. This is my first ever Corvina. <laughs> this is the problem with flow tubes. Like, are you gonna chill out, brother? Grab them. Look at that, guy. That's a decent sized one, too. Rip and drag on some four pound. But yeah, that's my first ever Corvina. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, fish on. Feels like a little head shaker, dude. I just think I've not pulled any drag, so I'm, not, I'm gonna assume it's not a bone fish on the spot. I'm going to assume it's not a bone fish. Should be like right here. What what is it? What is it, boys? Ultralight spotty. Think about that for a second, dude. A Corbina pulled like an actual drag rip while this spotty pulled like absolutely nothing. But what is harbor fishing without a spotted bait bass? What is it? Oh, oh yo, 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 yo. Oh god. Oh, dude, I hate freaking floating on my phone, dude. I gotta watch that. Gotcha. Nope. This is float tubing in a nutshell right here. Just a bunch of freaking stupid fish spazzing. 
me not letting enough line out for the fish making life more difficult than it should be spotted bay bass <laughs> oh, that's that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. I don't know what it is. We're on, boys. It's definitely head shaky. I don't think this is a bone fish, but um, it's definitely first fish of the day. It's it's running at me. Let's gain the line back on him. What are you? What are you? Not what we're after, boy. It's not what we're after. Oh, gosh. It's a little spotty. Come here, buddy. Oh. Pretty little guy. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Baby spotty. Let's let him go. I think it's another spotty. I'm not sure though. Oh, what is that? What is that? Whoa! Oh my god, what is that? The corp is it a corp? <laughs> oh. oh another corp. Hey. Maybe we'll just make this video ultralight corbina fishing. Nice! Look at that. Oh, come here, buddy. Another Corvina. Okay. Alright, this time let's actually get a cool shot of this fish, because the last one flew out of my hands. But, um, I might need to get pliers to get that out. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, relax, relax. In the water. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I was like, dude, I was like, what is going on? Like, why does this feel heavy? And like, I haven't felt any kicking or movement. I am on a fish right now on the ultralight. Again. Mm, he's awake. He's waking up. He, good morning, mister. Oh, dude, I jinxed it, Ryan. It's a <laughs> right, <I'm> like, Yo. <laughs> me, and, realize, me and Ryan were just talking about that. I was like, I was like, dude, what if I hooked like a 20 pound halibut? Obviously not 20 pound. Just like, like two minutes ago. Just two minutes ago. I was like, what if I hooked like a big old I halibut? I mean, we've caught like spotties, halibut, and corbina. Like, what's next before we uh, drill our bonefish, you know? What is next? All right. A little halibut. Let me eat it. He doesn't have it. He's got it. Oh, slam that hook set, dude. Damn. This place is fishy. This place is just fishy today. Let's see what, what are we thinking, Ryan? Spotty, halibut, corvina. What are we feeling? Spotty. You think it's a spotty? Yeah. I'm gonna say, I'm, I'm thinking you're right. Oh, brother. Oh, oh, hey, 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 hey. These little ones are the ones with the sharp teeth. That's what they think. They got their fresh ones in. They got their baby teeth. God, I have not fished bait in so long, like, for, like, any type of harbor. Because we're going for these bonefish, man. <laughs> it's just, like, a lot of bycatch when you're targeting them, that's for sure. But, um, baby spotty, little guy. How's it going, you guys? As you guys saw, it was a crazy day in the water, pretty fun, killing the Corvina. Got some spotties and a halibut in the mix, fishing the ultralight. Right here at this Daiwa. It's a cheap setup. I actually got this for like $30. This rod itself was like $20. It's a little Kuma rod. And you know, I just went cheap with it because you know, I'm not super hard in the ultralight fishing. But if you guys want to get into it, I recommend this setup right here, the Daiwa, the fire, and then this uh, 
Kumaran. I mean, I like it. I mean, I'm not the biggest ultra light guy in the world, but super fun. This Corbina do pull some drag. It was just, you guys saw, things pull some drag. And it's great out there. But that, remember, the Bonefish video will be coming soon. I'm working on that. And if you guys have not bought your Hog Squad merch yet, don't forget to go get that. Because we got beautiful, beautiful designs over here at Hog Squad. And I'll have some boat videos for you guys coming like next week very soon. I'm working on it, guys. I'm working on it. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in our next episode. Peace.